Weeks went by, and still I hadn't repaid my American friend for his gift. Then one morning, my 10-year-old son solved the problem for me. Over at the field, I went to work as usual. But all the time, I was keeping a sharp lookout for my boy. And finally, in they came. They didn't have to go over to operations anymore. Operations came right out to them. It saved a lot of time, I guess. And time was important when each plane had to fly two or three round trips a day. They even put the snack bar on wheels and brought it out to meet the planes. I watched them while they had a cup of coffee, waiting to get a minute with them. Then my chance came. The conversation was part English, part German, part international sign language, and we got along fine. I explained that I had a child too, and, well, this was all his idea. thing. Up till then, I'd sort of thought of the Berliners as just two and a quarter million mouths. Now they were two and a quarter million men and women and children. Back home near Frankfurt, that teddy bear from Berlin joined the family. And right then and there, I started to do some serious thinking. The next day, when we came over Berlin, I was all set. My wife and I had stayed up half the night tying our candy ration up with handkerchiefs. Operation Vittles was an old story. Now I was joining what we called Operation Little Vittles for the kids of Berlin. was always on hand to temple off now, ready to give us the latest Berlin dope. This time he really had something to talk about. Seems the Berliners had staged a demonstration. And what a demonstration. 300,000 people in front of the old Reichstag. Wow. Berlin was tired of being pushed around by those Russian zone boys. As far as democracy was concerned, the Berliners wanted to stand up and be counted. With support like that, we didn't mind flying. Not even when winter came and our air corridor turned into a pea soup corridor. The way we look at it, we aren't just feeding a city, we're feeding a spirit. Sounds kind of corny to say spirit of freedom, but, well, I'll say it anyway. As long as one of the fields is open, Berlin are in the zone, we fly. We fly on instruments and use the radio beam. We've got GCA on our side, too. It works like a charm. The first operator picks us up on his radar scope. You can see the other planes around us and tell us if we're in position. The other two operators talk us right down to the runway. Oh, 
Hindi are a good set of nerves, plenty of faith in the guys on the ground.